ஸ்மார்ட் லிவிங் ப்ரோக்ராம் ஆல் ரவுண்ட் டெவலப்மெண்ட் ஃப்ரண்ட் இக்னைட்டிங் ஆர் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் வித் பர்சனல் வேல்யூஸ் லைக் செல்ஃப் டிசிப்ளின் மோரல் வேல்யூஸ் ஹெல்த் அவேர்னஸ் ரெஸ்பான்சிபிலிட்டி டுவோர்ட்ஸ் சொசைட்டி லைஃப் ஸ்கில்ஸ் எக்ஸெக்ட்ரா அண்ட் டு கிரியேட் அன் ஆல் ரவுண்ட் டெவலப்மெண்ட் அமாங் த ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் இஸ் த மெயின் எய்ம் ஆஃப் த ஸ்மார்ட் லிவிங் ப்ரோக்ராம் S stands for self discipline M stands for moral values A stands for awareness on health R stands for responsibility towards the society T stands for technological advancement This is a unique program in Sri Chaitanya curriculum one particular theme is selected every month and events are conducted in the branch level based on the theme the examples are green india environmental awareness plant a tree drive to instill the environment awareness safe india a program of traffic awareness to instill traffic awareness healthy india to instill the health awareness family bloom a program for enhancing family values to instill the value of respect for elders and better family bonding different types of pollution pollution what comes to your mind some people might immediately think of factories spewing fumes into the sky and creating air pollution that can make it hard to breathe others might think of pipelines spilling oils into rivers causing water pollution that contaminates drinking water with societal advancement the quality of environment has been continuously degrading because of pollution in this video we will discuss the different types of pollution Pollution is an undesirable change in the physical, chemical or biological characteristics of air, land, water and soil. While agents that bring about such an undesirable change are called pollutants. The major form of pollution include air, water and land. In recent times, noise, light and plastic pollution are also gathering huge attention from the environmentalists. Let's start with air pollution. It is the most prevalent and dangerous form of pollution and caused mainly due to chimneys, factories, vehicles or something as common as burning of wood. The release of sulfur dioxide and other greenhouse gases into the air causes global warming and has the capacity to cause acid rain. Besides this, air pollution causes asthma. bronchitis and the most dangerous lung cancer especially in the metro cities next type is water pollution this kind of pollution essentially means the contamination of the physical chemical and biological properties of water water pollution is mainly caused due to waste domestic water industrial water effluents sewage etc Water pollution not only harms the aquatic beings but it also contaminates the entire food chain by severely affecting humans dependent on these. Waterborne diseases like cholera, diarrhea have also increased in all polluted places. Let's move on to soil and noise pollution. Soil pollution is also known as land pollution. This occurs due to the use of insecticides and pesticides and release of industrial waste and mining. deforestation also exploits the soil since plants can't grow properly they can't hold the soil and this leads to soil erosion noise pollution is caused when a noise which is of higher intensity than 85 decibels reaches our bare ears it may lead to psychological problems like stress and hypertension radioactive pollution is also considered one of the most dangerous types of pollution because of its permanent effects Radioactive pollution is caused by dumping of solid and liquid radioactive wastes and underwater nuclear weapon testing and explosions. It can cause skin cancer, blood cancer, 
infertility due to exposure, birth defects and blindness. It has the ability to permanently change soil, air and water. In order to control environmental pollution, the Government of India has passed the Environment Protection Act 1986 to protect and improve the quality of our environment. We should also help to protect our environment. Air pollution consists of chemicals or particles in the atmosphere that pose serious health and environmental threats. But what causes air pollution and what does it mean for our planet? Some air pollution comes from natural sources like volcanic eruptions, wildfires, or allergens. But most air pollution results from human activities such as energy use and agriculture. There are different types of human-made air pollution. When we burn fossil fuels to produce energy, they release greenhouse gases into the air. These emissions, such as carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, and fluorinated gases, trap heat from the sun in Earth's atmosphere, leading to a rise in global temperatures. This creates a cycle where air pollution contributes to climate change, and climate change creates higher temperatures. In turn, higher temperatures intensify some types of air pollution. For example, climate change increases smog because it forms in the presence of high heat and increased levels of ultraviolet radiation. More frequent extreme weather, such as flooding, contributes to damp conditions and therefore to a rise in mold. Warmer weather also leads to longer pollen seasons and therefore more pollen production. Smog is a type of air pollution that reduces visibility and has serious health effects. Smog can be divided into two categories, sulfurous and photochemical. Sulfurous smog is made up of chemical compounds called sulfur oxides. It occurs when burning sulfur-bearing fossil fuels such as coal. Photochemical smog, also called ground-level ozone, is a result of the reaction between sunlight, nitrogen oxides, and volatile organic compounds. Nitrogen oxides come from car exhaust, coal power plants, and factory emissions. Volatile organic compounds are released from gasoline, paints, and many cleaning solvents. Smog not only creates a brown haze that reduces visibility, but also harms plants, irritates the eyes, and causes respiratory distress. Another category of air pollution is toxic pollutants. These are chemicals such as mercury, lead, dioxins, and benzene that are released during gas or coal combustion, waste incineration, or burning of gasoline. In addition to adverse environmental effects, toxic air pollution can cause serious health problems such as cancer, reproductive complications, and birth defects. While air pollution has many consequences for our planet, there are solutions. We can limit toxic pollutants, smog, and greenhouse gases by decreasing the use of fossil fuels, such as in transportation, manufacturing, and electricity generation. Reducing air pollution not only contributes to a cleaner environment and better human health, but can also slow the rate of global warming. Eight million metric tons of plastic trash enters the sea from land every year. The equivalent of five plastic bags filled with trash for every foot of coastline in the world. Across our ocean, plastic trash flows into circulation, dispersed almost everywhere, but concentrating in huge swaths in the midst of global currents, breaking down into smaller and smaller pieces, ingested by species across the marine world, and sinking to the bottom of the sea. Anyone can make plastic anywhere in the world and sell it anywhere else in the world. There's no design paradigm, there's no barriers. 
In order to solve the plastic packaging problem, we need to effectively rethink the entire system. From one which is linear, i.e. take, make, dispose, to one where it can be recovered and fed back into the economy as a valuable plastic material, or one where it is bio-benign and it can enter the environment. The ultimate goal of the new plastics economy is to design an economy where plastic packaging never becomes waste. And to do that, we need every single player in the chain to change the way that they do things. But marine pollution comes in many forms. Industrial, agricultural, and urban waste also sweep into the sea, fueling explosions of algae that rob marine ecosystems of the oxygen they need to survive. With sustained pollution, these areas become dead zones, which already exist in more than 400 locations across the globe. But nutrient pollution can be managed. Soil pollution, a hidden reality. Beneath our feet lurks a hidden danger, soil pollution. Soil pollution can be invisible and seems far away, but everyone is affected. Soil pollution is a worldwide problem which degrades our soils, poisons the food we eat, the water we drink, and the air we breathe, posing a serious risk to food security, human health, and the environment. Soils have a great potential to filter and buffer contaminants, degrading and attenuating the negative effects of pollutants. But this capacity is finite. Most of the pollutants originate from human activities, such as unsustainable farming practices, industrial activity and mining, untreated urban waste, and other non-environmental friendly practices. As technology evolves, scientists are able to identify previously undetected pollutants. But at the same time, these technological improvements lead to new contaminants being released into the environment. The Sustainable Development Goals 2, 3, 12 and 15 have targets which command direct consideration of soil resources, especially soil pollution and degradation, in relation to food security. The consensus achieved on the Declaration on Soil Pollution during the last UN Environment Assembly is a clear sign of global determination to tackle pollution and its causes. It is time to uncover this threatening reality. Combating soil pollution requires us to join forces and turn determination into action. It is the time to fight soil pollution be the solution to soil pollution. As a part of Smart Living program based on the theme Green India Environmental Awareness, Plant a Tree Drive. We all are now going to discuss something that we know very much. Do you know? Which we neglect can destroy our lives and environment to large extent. Do we neglect it still deliberately? Then we must pay for our negligence. And what it is? Plastic. Plastic usage has become very common despite discussions against it and several awareness programs conducted by environmentalists. It is just because it is obtained easily at low price. One can easily find, buy, use and dispose plastic. What happens to the disposed plastic? Let us discuss now how this plastic leads us to dire consequences. This disposed plastic takes hundreds of years to get decomposed. Here we see that in 2018, global primary production of plastic was 380 million tons. 
global plastic waste was 6.3 billion tons it did exceed annual primary production through wastage of plastic from previous years plastic waste generated in coastal regions is most at risk of entering the oceans in 2010 coastal plastic waste generated within 50 kilometers of the coastline amounted to 99.5 million tons plastic in the ocean surface waters is several orders of magnitude lower than annual ocean plastic inputs this discrepancy is known as the missing plastic problem and is discussed here the amount of plastic in surface waters is not very well known estimates range from 10000 to 100000 tons everyone should take responsibility in protecting and in preserving our environment then we can protect ourselves completely from this pollution so let us ban plastic uses we can save flora and fauna and protect planet earth let us plant trees and extend our contribution to save and protect the environment let us try for a healthy society let us all participate in this program to plant trees and play our part for a better environment as a part of smart living program being responsible citizen our honorable chairman mr b s rao garu has started plantation so we humbly request you to be a part by accepting sri chaitanya set out challenge for plantation and step into a healthy environment and pass on the challenge to others